All right, so if you've been following my channel at all recently, you will know that I have recently picked up an R36 Passat earlier this year, actually late last year. And ever since I've got it, one thing I've really been keen to do are the wheels because I found with the car, it's very much a modern looking car. It doesn't look as old as it actually is. But the one thing that really does let it down are the wheels. So if you're seeing what's under me right now, these are new wheels for the car. Uh, if you can read what it says on the box, that is wrong. They aren't nine and a half inch wide and they aren't the, uh, plus, plus 15 offset. That'd be incredibly aggressive and uh, definitely wouldn't work on the R36 because it would probably poke out of the guards about 50 millimeters. Nonetheless though, here we have my new wheels. And a little bit of backstory on this just quickly before we get on to what I'm doing in today's video, which is applying a wax coating here. Thank you to Super Cheap Auto for sponsoring my videos and providing this product for me to test out for you. Um, I was gonna buy these, I uh, inquired about it. They're at $1,700, they had an eBay special. They're at 1530, I called up and inquired. Said, hey, I wanna get these right now. They're on sale, um, you know, uh, what's the go? He said, they call me back tomorrow. Um, they would regard the one day, uh, so that they'd match the one day eBay sale and give it to me for 15.30. And then I uh, got the call back the next day, basically saying that they would be out of stock until March. And uh, if, I don't know when you're watching this video, but it's currently November and I didn't really want to wait four months for these wheels to be back in stock. Conveniently enough though, and I don't know how much of a coincidence this is, they had these wheels here, which are the identical wheels that I inquired about and they're X demo wheels and they are 18 by eight and a half, five by one, one, 12, sorry, one, one, two, and plus 38 offset, literally identical to what I inquired about. And uh, they're right here in front of me in black. They're off their X demo Audi S3. These are the concave uh, concept CC 101 wheels. And uh, I went for 19 inches, obviously the factory wheels on the R36 18. So, I've gone for 19s, one size bigger. I think 20s looks too big. 18s is pretty nice, but we're gonna meet right there in the middle at 19. So I'm gonna just quickly head over here and just quickly grab a rag just to stick the wheel on. Grab something like this old shirt just here. Just wanna protect these as much as I can before I get them on the car and have the car looking awesome with it. So we'll just put that there. All right, let's move this box a little further across and ready for the reveal of the wheels. So these right here are the concave concept CC 101 wheels. And this is what is going to be going on my R36 Passat. So the R36 is currently straight piped. It's on lowered, uh, it's lowered and it's going to have these wheels on it. It's going to look really, really cool. Although I think probably tomorrow I'm going to change over the exhaust because the straight pipe draws way too much attention to itself, especially getting around town. Nonetheless though, let's get on with the actual point of today's video here. We're gonna be trying out the Bowden's own Lazy Wax. This is a uh, basically a spray on wax. So instead of your generic uh, wax where you apply it to an applicator pad and you rub it around and then you buff it off later, the concept behind this is to literally just spray it on and wipe it off, sort of like a drying aid if you wanna put it that way. Although obviously I washed these wheels maybe a week ago now I'm saving for tires as we speak. So, so basically the directions for use is if I'm doing it indoors here on a cold surface, I basically just need to lightly mist the surface and then uh, just spread it around with a clean folded microfiber towel and then use a second, second microfiber towel to buff it back off. It's very, very simple, very easy. Uh, so basically for a wheel like this, it's gonna be much easier with a little microfiber towel to get into all these intricate places rather than using a big applicator pad that you would do with a car like my car. I'm actually very curious to try this on a car too because in winter, I'll save that for another video. If you're interested in how to wash your car in winter, the best way to keep the oils and that off the car, I'll make that another video coming soon. I talk way too much nonetheless though. Let's flip this over here and put it on the back of the barrel here. We'll bring the camera over here and we'll uh, begin testing out the Bowden's own Lazy Wax. So we can see a close up look of the wheel. And one thing I really like about these wheels, hence the name of them, is this concave. Even though this is only an eight and a half inch wide wheel, it's not a super aggressive size. There's still a fair amount of concave to the wheel, which gives it a very, very nice look. So 
I'm gonna come over here, get my two microfiber towels here. I'm gonna use an orange and a yellow one. I'm gonna use the yellow to begin with and then the orange to buff it off. I always like to do different colored towels. That way you always remember which one is which. So what I'll do is I'll begin with this. Shake this nice and well. We'll make sure we get all the chemicals nice and mixed up inside of here so we get the best results. And then what we're gonna do is just simply spray some over the wheel. I'm assuming this is just how it goes. So we'll just spray a light mist, as it says, over the wheel, just like that. And then the next step, ooh, that smells really, really nice. And uh, then gently spread it around with a clean folded microfiber towel. So we have our super cheap auto microfiber towel here. We're just gonna fold it up into quarters and then just rub this around the wheel, giving it a really nice coating uh, just to make sure we've got coverage over the whole entire wheel face. And this stuff smells, it actually has a banana smell funnily enough, but uh, we'll just continue to spray this around the wheel like I'm doing. It's gonna be quite time consuming on a wheel like this because of how intricate it is. So we're just gonna make sure we get into all the nice little grooves, getting a very nice coverage around it. We can see here that the, it is starting to sort of harden, or not harden up, but it's starting to get that sort of matte finish that wax gets when it starts to dry. So we'll just continue just to spread where it's still misted into the wheel, get a really nice cover ridge all over it. I talk like this really awkwardly when I'm doing stuff like this because I'm thinking at the same time as I'm doing what I'm doing. But nonetheless, I noticed the barrel of the wheel could probably do with a clay bar as well. So I might make that into another video. Again, these are used wheels, so I wasn't expecting them to be perfect but uh, definitely happy with the price. So there we have it, we've applied our wax. So what I'll do is I'll just give this a little bit of time just to sit on the wheel before I grab our second microfiber towel, which is this orange one here, and then buff it off just like it says on the bottle. So here we go. I'm just gonna take off the wax that's on the wheel. And these wheels are feeling extremely slippery now, like the water will just bead straight off them I'll be very, very keen to try this on my car later on. If you wanna see a video trying this out on the car, let me know in the comment section down below, but this is coming up very, very nicely. You can feel that the water is just going to bead straight off these wheels. This is coming up very, very nice, very, very shiny. Man, this looks nice. So get into the barrel of the wheel here, try and buff all this out too. And there we have it. That is applying Bowden's own lazy wax to my new wheels for my R36. So now I've got the fun job of doing this three more times over, but I just figured I'd show you really quickly the Bowden's own lazy wax. I'll make more videos with this on my channel. I really wanna do my car with this stuff and I'll show you how I'd wash the cars in winter. Nonetheless though, if you guys have enjoyed this video and have enjoyed seeing this product used and enjoyed seeing my new wheels, for my R36, well, let me know down in the comment section down below because I am very excited to get these on the car. With that being said though, if you've enjoyed, make sure you chuck a like on the video, subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be plenty more content on these wheels and this car. With that being said though, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one.